Everything's organized and visually appealing. People just don't like the boxes that those come in. So you can either use it like this. It was completely a DIY project. So. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, hi, my name is Haley. And in today's video, we are doing a little spring cleaning and organization in our kitchen. So this is a project that has been long overdue. When we first moved into our apartment about seven months ago, we kind of just threw things in the cabinets and drawers. And I told myself that I would get around to organizing everything and having a specific spot for each thing, but that just hasn't happened. But it definitely needs to be done. So we have a pretty large apartment kitchen, but we have a very small pantry. So behind me right here is our kitchen pantry. It is very small and elongated, so it makes it really tricky to find things when they're not organized. So I went on Amazon this past week and just kind of browsed around and I ended up finding a lot of good things to help me organize my pantry as well as some of the things around my kitchen. So I'm excited to jump into everything that I got. So make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss future videos. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up as well and leave a comment down below if you have any kitchen organization tips so all of the items that I got from Amazon are here on the counter next to me so I'm just gonna start with the first thing I see and kind of just show you guys and go through it that way I'm gonna put my coffee to the side here and I will start with these containers so these are clear acrylic containers these come with little plastic dividers so you have two options you could either use it like this without any dividers or you can add the dividers to make little sections which is what i plan on doing in the picture and description on amazon they had like little granola bars protein bars all assorted in here so this has four little compartments now that i can put snacks in so i feel like having clear acrylic containers will allow us to see what we have but also provide some organization so i'm excited to put these to use the second item is a bunch of these clear plastic containers so there's an assortment of sizes there's this small size and this size here and um, i don't remember how many it came with but you've probably seen this before or it's nothing revolutionary but what I plan on doing is having a tea drawer or like a supplement drawer and using these little dividers to have everything laid out nicely so that say I wanted like an Earl Grey tea one day, I can just go in, open my drawer and see where the Earl Grey tea is. And that way everything's organized and visually appealing as well. The next item are these stacking stands. So this was a little bit of a shock to me when they arrived yesterday. We opened up the package and it was completely a DIY project. So I had my husband been put these together it came with these little screws so you had to do two screws on each leg um but if i would have known that i probably wouldn't have purchased them but now that they're together they are great and i bought these to fill up vertical space in our pantry so this is just going to help lift everything up and be able to stack items on top of each other the next item that i purchased were these other stackables so this comes with a pack of three and i bought it to organize all of our canned products so it just kind of layers like this so that you can see what you actually have because right now our cans are all laid out and i can't really tell exactly what we have i have to really like dig back in the back of the pantry to figure out what we have so this is going to allow us to see exactly what we have the next thing isn't really organization related i just have been wanting these for a while because i do like iced coffee in the summer as well as smoothies so i just thought these were cute to have and you can also use them for you know other things as well like use it for water or a beer or something without the lid or straw so they're multifunctional, super inexpensive on Amazon, and I like that they came with glass straws because I actually use these all the time. The next thing I got is this organizer for tin foil, wax paper, and saran wrap because I really just don't like the boxes that those come in. And a lot of times they're such a pain to use and always break. So I ended up finding this and you just pop everything in and it has these little cutoffs too which are super handy i also got these little stackable plastic things for my spices because right now our spices are just sitting in one of the larger cabinets and it's definitely not utilizing the space properly so i got these to organize our spices so that they're all laid out nicely and we can see what we have and also just move my spices to a smaller drawer that can accommodate 
these so that we can free up some space in one of the larger drawers. The next thing I got was the Space Aid Bamboo Storage Bag Organizer. So for Ziploc bags, I wanted something that looked visually appealing. So I bought two sets. This one has a bunch of different boxes and you can pull them apart and use them individually. And I think just by looking at it, you can actually use it as one full piece like this. The other one is a little bit of a different style because I wasn't sure which one that I would like better. So this is the second one and this one is just one piece so you can't take anything apart. Usually I like the way that this one looks better right off the bat but I'm only keeping one so I'll figure out which one fits our space better. So we are down to the last few items here. They're all the same, but I purchased these glass containers that have lids attached, but I really liked the ribbing of this glass. It's something that I haven't seen before. Usually I just see the glass jars with the bamboo lids, but I just thought this was a little bit more unique and more my style, so glad I found these on Amazon. But I purchased these in three different sizes. So this is the medium and it came in a pack of three. Pack of three in the large, but it's interesting because these are two different colors. So this is more of like that classic glass with a green tint and this one is more of a, like a black tint. So I'm not really sure why there's a difference there. And then I also purchased the smaller option as well. And these two are the same color, but it's very hard to tell. So, and it's not like anyone's gonna be paying that much attention anyways, but it's just something to know if you're interested in purchasing these that the large ones are a little bit of a different color. I don't know if there was like a color option when I bought them, but I don't think so. Yeah, that is everything I got from Amazon and I'm excited to go through my pantry and start implementing these items but first we need to go through and empty the pantry so i'll show you guys a before of my pantry and what it looks like so this is a current overview of our pantry so i'm gonna start with the top level first currently we've been keeping teas and snacks in this drawer i tried to make it a little organized by adding these bins that i had already but it's definitely not helping that much i have just a bunch of snacks piled in here and i can't even tell what is back in that corner at this point. Like I have gone through here and organized a couple of times, but because these cabinets go so deep, I can never actually remember what's back there. So I'm excited to see what I have in the pantry today. The next level up, we have some supplements as well as some of our dog's medications and treats. Not really sure what else is up there, probably treats that have not been used. And then the very top shelf, I have some of my sourdough equipment and it looks like some alcohol mixer type stuff. So not really sure what else is up there because I can't even reach up there, but I'll have to grab a stepping stool here in a bit to access that area. So this is kind of our nuts and snacks as well as some baking stuff, which is way back there. You can't even see. So one thing I didn't like about having all these individual bags is that it makes it really hard to see what you have. Once again, because this goes back so deeply, I, I can't even tell like what is even all the way back there. So I probably have some duplicate items I didn't know I had. So that is why I bought those smaller clear jars because I want to add rolled oats into one jar, my dates into one jar. So so that I can actually see what I have. I do have this organizer here that I bought from TJ Maxx a couple months ago. It's a acrylic Lazy Susan. So that has worked out pretty well, but I also have some random items in here as well. Some extra condiments that we don't need out in the fridge yet. Peanut butters and some honey and oils back there and then a random cereal. So as you can already tell, it's definitely not organized into any specific category. And down here we have a lot of our canned goods, pasta, bone broth stuff like that and we do use this stuff a lot so I'm thinking to try to move it up a couple levels and then down here on this last level we just have some supplements so that is the current state of our kitchen pantry so what I'm gonna do is just go through and take everything out of the pantry and then give it a nice cleaning as well
So this is what I decided on. I put two of the stackable shelves up here and then I put the can organizer down here as well as the remaining two stackables down here. So that is my layout. Over here I have all of the items just laid out on the island so that I know exactly what shelf I want to put them on. So let's go ahead and put everything inside the cabinets. top layer is all of our dog treats and my sourdough equipment and then this row right here is like chips popcorn snacks stuff like that this third row here are quick snacks so in this bin here i have sweet treats candies and chocolates behind that i have some bone broth the taco shells some pb2 powder and then i have a couple packs of spaghetti bonza pasta ramen noodles and some fall pasta and then in this bin i have protein bars some different fruit gummies grass-fed beef sticks and then just some extra stuff back here and then we pull that out all we have left back there is just some extra pasta and some extra nuts I love how this all looks. This is my favorite part of the pantry so far because I can just come in here and if I need a snack, I can just easily grab it. And then this row here, it's kind of tricky just because of how deep the cabinet goes, but I do have all of my jars on this level. However, if I did want to grab something all the way in the back, I'd have to take each one of these jars out. So I'm not sure how functional this is, but it looks nice and it keeps everything in airtight containers and it looks just a lot better. I can actually see what I have now, whereas before, I couldn't even see the back of this cabinet down here. I have all of my canned goods So I did go ahead and put all of my pasta sauces on this side some assorted canned food And then right here I just have some box beans and then on this level here We have the lazy Susan with all of our condiments some extras back there and just some random things that I have So I have some baking products up here some more oil and peanut butter and honey down there for when I need that. And then down here on the last lower level, which I'll really have to crawl down here and get on my knees to see what's under here. But this is just extra stuff that I had put in the jar. So if I need extras, I can just come down here and grab those. And that is the finished pantry. So I'm really happy with how this all turned out. It's 10 times better than what it was before. And I feel like there's still a lot of space left, which is nice if I ever need it. So this has taken quite a bit of time. It is now almost 7 p.m. So I'm trying to think if I want to go ahead and like start on maybe the spice cabinet or kind of see which drawers I want to change up a little bit now that I'm done with the pantry. Um, I'm thinking I might go ahead and just start and get an idea of how I want to rearrange things. So I need to go through this cabinet right here. So this holds all of our freezer bags, aluminum foil, plastic wrap, stuff like that. This is quite a small drawer, so it really can't fit too much else, but I wanna put as much of this as I can in those bamboo holders, but I might not keep that holder here. I might use this for my tea and supplements drawer because it's right next to the pantry. I'll show you guys what the other drawers are looking like that I wanna switch up a little bit. So these three drawers, I definitely want to rearrange because what's in them right now doesn't actually utilize the entire space in them. So I wanna switch things up and maximize as much space as I can. So in this first drawer here, is my linen drawer. So I have all of our dish towels, hand towels, different napkins from the holidays and whatnot.
whatnot in here, which is a good space for them right now. But I think I want to turn this into our spice drawer because I did get those spice racks. So I think they would lay really nicely in here and display all of our spices really easily because right now all of our spices are in this second drawer here. And as you can see, it's really hard to tell what we have because all you see when you look in here are these black caps. So I want to be able to display these so we can just look in the drawer and see what we have. This last drawer here just holds a bunch of random stuff, basically just a lot of random kitchen stuff. So we have like some charcuterie boards, books, different linens, some heating pads and whatnot. So things might stay the same in there. I'm not too sure yet, but these two are the bigger ones. So I think what I plan on doing is starting with this drawer first and try to put all of my spices in here and see if I like that. So I was able to assemble the acrylic containers as best that I could to fit everything in. So I actually used two of the medium size long ones right here and I originally had the small ones right here but because these tea bags are so much bigger there's no reason that they should be this big they don't really fit in here that well so I just have them laying right here and then I used five of this size for the tea bags so I just had whatever tea that I had left in boxes and just laid them out like so and then over here i originally had two more of these but i took those out because i have all of these containers here so i have my magnesium as well as some more bag tea that are in these tins so those fit pretty good right there i just have some extra greens powder here right now and the only other things drink wise that i couldn't fit in the tea drawer is this tin of tea this holiday blend tea that is in like a little satchet inside of here and it's loose leaf so i can't really fit that in there as well as this big box of tea bags and if i open it up they're all in here like this so i don't really want to take them out of the box and let them get stale so i'm just going to keep these in here for now and put these somewhere in the pantry but i really like how it turned out and it makes me excited to come in here and have some tea now because now i can see everything laid out and i know what i have all right so we are down to the last item which is this organizer here so i'm going to add what i can so i have some tin foil as well as some plastic wrap however my parchment paper that i have is way too long and i have two of them so i have these two big boxes i need to figure out where to put but this is really simple to use you just take this off here and then we're just going to pop in the foil first i guess And I'm excited to see how this cuts because I've just been using the cutter on the box and this box is like falling apart. So let's give it a try. Oh yeah, that cut really, really well. 
very sharp and precise. And then let's go ahead and try the plastic wrap. So this is why I hate these so much because this is already broken. This cutter here actually does a terrible job. So really excited to finally get rid of those. So I'm just gonna pop this one in here as well. Of course, it's already sticking to itself, but let's go ahead and test this one out. Oh yeah, perfect. And then we're gonna go ahead and add this piece back on and it's magnetic so it just goes right on and there you have it i did end up deciding to keep the storage bag containers that separated because our drawers are not wide enough to accommodate this and the other one next to each other so i like that i'll be able to rearrange them how i want them but i'm gonna go ahead and pop this into the drawer that i used to have my spices in and i'll show you guys that as well and there you have it. So I was able to fit that right here. I did go ahead and put my gallon freezer bags in this. Since these used to be in that same drawer, I just popped them in these empty ones just because I don't have Ziploc bags right now for those. But once I do get them, I'll be able to utilize these little stickers that it came with. And then I just popped this wine koozie here. So yeah, that is what is in this drawer now. And I can definitely pop this in here too. That looks like a pretty good fit for whatever I feel like is necessary to go in there. Not really sure where I'm going to store all of my linens now, but we'll try to find a place for those as well. All right, so that is going to be the end of today's video. Thank you all for watching. Bye.